What's up, guys? So Tolkien is the story of J.R.R. Tolkien before he wrote The Hobbit book and The Lord of the Rings books and how he sort of got the inspiration uh, for the stories. And, you know, it takes place uh, before that, and he is played by Nicholas Holt in the film. But the movie's also played uh, through, flash, through fat flashbacks. The movie is kind of shown through flashbacks. And present day, we have him in the war, and he's... He's sort of searching for one of his very close friends as part of his fellowship, part of his brotherhood that he's created with these boys that he's gone to school with. Uh, he was orphaned at a very young age, so he was sent uh, to this school, and he's now staying there. And he has these he has these friends that he meets. One thing leads to another, and he creates this bond, he creates this fellowship. So the story kind of revolves around that. It also focuses on his love life and his... Uh, Girlfriend in the movie, soon to be wife, is played by uh, Lily Collins in the film. This might be her best performance. I think she's great in the movie from what she's given to do. Also, I think Nicholas Holt is very good in the movie uh, from you know what the script sort of allows him to do here. Uh, you know, he doesn't have these over the top kind of scenes, but he's very sort of subdued. Uh, and he, he is very charismatic as the character, and I do like that. There's a really great scene between him and Lily Collins. It's uh, it's in the beginning of the film. It's like maybe 20 minutes into the film, something like that. And they're out at this uh, fancy uh, restaurant, uh, and they're out at this fancy place to eat, and they're having a conversation about this this word and this this this, this language. I don't know. I really liked it. I, I think that was one of my favorite scenes of the movie. I think they have great chemistry. But I do, fa I do feel like if you're a fan of The Lord of the Rings and you're a fan of The Hobbit and you're wanting to watch this movie expecting a lot of stuff from that, like, uh, you know, how he wrote this, how he wrote that, you're not going to get that. You're just kind of going to get, you know, this is just a glimpse into his early adult life, pretty much. And you'll see how, you know, he, he gets ideas for this and how he gets ideas for, for the Fellowship and how he gets ideas for the One Ring and how he gets ideas for, you know, Mordor and Sauron and all this sort of thing. You know, the film doesn't really uh, go into when he's actually writing the books. It all takes place beforehand. And his uh, love for uh, different languages and how he creates different languages. So that's basically what this movie revolves around. It is a very uh, slow movie. It does feel very slow at points. I think the pacing isn't the greatest. It does drag on at points. There could have been stuff cut from the movie. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? Also, I do feel like the movie is just kind of bland overall. I do feel like, you know, there's nothing really too special about it. We've seen, you know, films like this before done better. You know, films like Saving Mr. Banks or The Imitation Game or The Theory of Everything. You know, those movies were done much better, I feel. But this, you know, it's not a bad movie. It's just a subpar movie. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, in J.R.R. Tolkien, definitely go to see this movie. But if you were kind of on the fence, I would wait until a rental. Uh, you want to pick it up on, uh, maybe watch it on Netflix if it's ever going to be on Netflix, or a Redbox, or digitally rented, or whatever you want to do. I wouldn't r really go out to the theater to see this if you're not a huge fan of J.R.R. Tolkien. But if you're into this kind of thing, go ahead, see it. I mean, it's not a, it's not a horrible movie. It's not a bad movie. It's just not the greatest either, uh, and I'm going to give uh, Tolkien three out of five stars. It's just middle of the road for me. I did like it. I did moderately like it, um, but overall, I don't know if it's anything that I'd watch again. Uh, it didn't really, uh, like I said, there's nothing really too special about it, or there's nothing really that, that pops about it. Uh, but guys, comment your thoughts in the comment section. Do you plan on saying Tolkien? What are your thoughts? on J.R.R. Tolkien and The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Also, guys, you can subscribe to this channel for reviews coming in the future for Pokemon, Detective Pikachu, and John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Also, a whole bunch of trailer reactions are up on this channel now. And, guys, you can follow me on Patreon if you want to help this channel grow. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at KingArises131. Guys, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Tolkien. Over and out.